Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Rusty Beauties Restorations. Again, we are on the 94 Jeep YJ. As you know, we repaired the frame, so now we are rebuilding the suspension, changing the springs. The springs are still not here, but I have good news. They sent them to me. Still don't have tracking number for that, but I guess they're on their way to me. Uh, today, I'm gonna keep doing a little bit more here at the back. I wanna finish what, as much as I can. So I just cleaned up this piece cleaned it with a wire wheel and now it is in rust converter so we're gonna wait for the rust converter to do its magic and then we're gonna prime it and paint it i guess uh you know last time we installed the gas tank and as many of you noticed i didn't put any straps and the reason why i didn't put the straps on is because i didn't know they existed <laughs> so if you watched my videos from the beginning you probably noticed that when i took it down the gas tank I mean there were no straps there and I didn't even know that there should be straps so I put it without straps and I think that I think the gas tank is pretty well in there I tried to like wiggle it around you see the skid plate is bending but the gas tank is not moving it's not going anywhere so I think it's pretty well there and I'm not gonna bother way too much with it it is what it is the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this hardware, like I said, I'm gonna put uh, nice bolts here because this sheet metal here is like just sheet metal on this cross member. But on this side, somebody said that I shouldn't trust self-tappers, but I think self-tappers will hold pretty well here. I mean, these ones, like I built limousines and I repaired limousines and I've seen limousines that are 10 years and older and they use those self-tappers on the frame to hold different stuff there and believe me, they are not going anywhere I know that the Jeep is gonna be far gone before these self-tappers get lost the metal that I used for this, because I built this myself is this sheet metal, I believe it's 12 gauge once this self-tapper makes its way through this sheet metal it's gonna take 20 years before uh, something happens to it. I'm sure it's gonna hold. So I'm not gonna bother too much with this cross member, but on the other side, I'm gonna change the hardware. And then we're gonna have to grind a little bit these holes because they don't match the ones on the wings inside. The outside matches this piece. So here too, we're gonna have to just grind it a little bit more. So we can fit the bolts and then I got here a lot of hardware I bought so these are the bolts that we're gonna use for the big piece these are 10 millimeters I bought I bought metric everything because I'm from Europe and I like metric <laughs> so 10 millimeters washers lock washers nuts six millimeters because I need to take these out and clean them and pay them again so for here I'm gonna use these and uh, eight millimeters i bought also that's for the gas tank and wherever else i might need so yeah let's get started this is elin yakov and you're watching the rusty beauties channel Guys, the amount of effort it takes to drill through that, it's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. I'm sorry guys, I don't want to be that guy who doesn't take advice. But seriously, here, I don't think anything other than these four self-tappers is needed. Okay, I put the proper hardware here as well. And that's going to be it for the gas tank. Let's see what's going to be next.
All right, the holes are ground down. Now the bolts can go through. And the next project, I think, since I'm not in a mood to start going with the front end, I think I'm gonna dig into this pile here and I'm gonna find all these metal brackets like this that hold fenders and stuff and I'm gonna clean them up and I'm gonna paint them so this is what I found in the pile this and this and these I took off from the front fenders because they need some work obviously I guess we're gonna have to rebuild this and for this I want you to watch carefully because when I disassemble them you have to remind me after that how to assemble them together right did you memorize that thank you because i'm gonna ask you all right so i took apart all the bracketry here it wasn't easy all this hardware was so seized but i want to keep it i also found those and the hardware for here actually so i might reuse that it's a little bent we need to fix it so <clears throat> what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean all the brackets now but for the hardware not that it's that important but i actually want to try and use my tumbler i never opened it and now i have the opportunity to use it for the first time so i just want to test it and we're gonna see what's gonna happen yeah i knew it it comes with all the media fantastic Can I put this as well? Okay, let me try with the big part. Wow, that's noisy. Yeah, right, I'm gonna take it to the other end of the garage. Alright, so the shaker has been shaking here for, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes or something. So let's see what's the situation inside. Huh. Yeah, not what I expected. This is the hardware. Really? I could have done much better in much less time. Maybe I have the wrong media. I don't know. I'm not really excited about that. Eh. Oh my god. Okay, good news is that it doesn't use too much power. My uh, home sense system, whatever, doesn't even catch it. There's no sticker or anything. Oh, there's another sticker here. 55 watts, well, 0 0.5 amp. It's not gonna waste too much power, so I'm gonna let it rumble for another, I don't know, as long as I'm in the garage, but honestly, I've been, I was expecting a little bit better. Anyway, this bracket I'm gonna clean myself. And in the meantime, I've done all this. So I know it's not the best, but I've done the best I could do. Uh, without investing way too much time in it. So some of them will need repair, but first I'm gonna rust convert them. So I'm gonna repair them after they've been rust converted. This one will need some repair too. And some of these nuts are spinning, so they're gonna have to be tucked in place. Some of them have been tucked already. Here, somebody already tucked this one. So yeah, not too bad. I used wire wheel on my angle grinder i used wire wheel on my drill i used sandpaper and i used my hand a little bit here okay i'm not gonna show you because you're gonna get scared 
it now. I'm gonna clean this one too because it's gonna take forever in the tumbler. And then probably we're gonna call it a day because it's late at night already and I'm... <sighs> I have some momentum here but my girlfriend's gonna kill me. The following footage is graphic so keep your kids away. Ah! That's what wire brush does to your thumb when you're not keeping it away from it. Anyway, so all this is rust converted now. I mean, in rust converter, so we're gonna let it sit here for the night. This one is almost done, but we're gonna paint all this tomorrow and we're gonna go from there. For now, I'm calling it a night, so good night. All right, so it's another day and all our parts here are ready to be painted. And by the way, it is the mind blowing almost 17 degrees wow 70 c's that's amazing eh <laughs> and listen do you hear that silence yes because the garage heater came off finally it's unbelievable and by the way outside it's nice and warm as well it's like not minus 17 anymore it's about I think minus three degrees outside today. I wonder if that has something to do with the fact that it is warm in the garage as well. I'm starting to think that the temperature outside is related to the temperature inside. I don't know. If that's true, maybe we won't need the garage heater in the summer. That would be nice. <laughs> Anyways, so we are ready here to paint these and I think I'm gonna prime them this time because I was blamed last time that I didn't prime the frame before I painted it and that was due to the fact that uh, the rust converter calls for no primer after it's uh, the parts have been have been rust converted also the easy liner I don't know I believe that somewhere I read that it doesn't require a primer but anyways we're gonna prime these parts so you'll be satisfied and don't call me lazy anymore and uh once we prime them we're gonna paint them with the easy liner again and we're gonna put them to the side because these are for the front i'm not gonna install them before i paint the frame of course there's some of them that need repairs so we're gonna repair those before we prime them but we're gonna prime the most part of them the ones that don't need repairs so we can have some of them at least uh, ready for paint. All right, these are painted. Only the big part needs to be flipped and painted on the other side. I'm gonna do that as well. But now, let's repair these two. They require a little bit of touch-ups here. <laughs> Missing some parts. And I believe this one needs to be tucked as well because the nut is spinning. Wow, look at that, almost like factory, isn't it? Just a little bit better. <laughs> anyway, it's time for paint. All right, all the parts are painted now. Huh? I missed a little bit over there. Okay, so now all the parts are painted. Only the big one needs to be flipped and painted to the other side, but once it dries, I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna do that. And then it's gonna be ready so i keep saying that we are ready with everything for the back to be assembled but actually there's one more thing that i want to finish before i move to the front and that's this cover that i wanted to make flange around it so i can put it here and uh cover the hole ah, did i say one actually there's two parts that i want to do <laughs> okay we're gonna have to rust convert and paint this as well 
so yeah we're gonna pull this out now and we're gonna start making flanges around it okay so we're gonna put some strips of metal here just like that Okay, I was gonna weld it in full, but for whatever reason, this metal doesn't weld very well. Maybe because I didn't clean the paint very well. But anyways, it's giving me trouble, so that's enough. Let's test fit it. Mm, how does it go this way? Perfect. Fits like a glove, like a welding glove. <laughs> anyways. Okay, so we're gonna paint it and uh, once we have all these protected here, we're gonna glue it in place, but it feels, it fits, fits pretty well. Yeah, we have a floor. <laughs> so I don't know how much footage we have, if it is enough for one video or not, but I'm just gonna put it together and I'm gonna upload it because I want the front end to be in another video. So that's gonna be it guys for tonight. Thanks for watching, thanks for commenting and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.